All right, YouTube. I'm gonna do like a resin reveal, but this one's been a long time waiting because this was like my second pour and I've poured resin like seven times now. But this one, I wanted to do like a skeleton type look, so I put the bone sprinkles in and then I let one layer dry and I put glitter on the back. But it didn't really come out sparkly, I think, because it's too thick. I coated it. It was, like, matte, and then I did triple thick on it. But it didn't turn out the greatest. But I think I'll try something like this again. These ones I used the dyes on, and I was going to paint them. I just haven't had a chance to. I'm going to try and do, like, a zombie stitch type thing on this one. And this one I was going to do, like, a little bleeding heart. I, and then maybe some red stitches here and there. I did some skulls and crossbones too. I'm learning not to pour stuff so thick because it does weigh a little bit. But these are cute. I've been wearing these out and people really like them. I think I might paint the eyes, but then I'd have to paint the teeth too. I don't know. People seem to really like this and they really like this one. I had a couple of requests from friends to make them. And I did the white and black in these two. I don't know if I'm going to end up painting them. I might just like do a keychain or something with these. And then I did the little bombs too, but I don't know. They turned out good, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just had some extra and I'm like, uh, I'll do that. That's the old stuff. And I did a pour about a week before, and I did a video of it before I popped it out. And I had to give it all away as presents, and I didn't have time to make a video, so this is, this is the only one I had left. I did a blue one and a green one, like this. And they both turned out really well. I really like it. I mixed in the glitter, and I did a, a triple thick coat on this one, too. And I think he turned out really great. Because he was matte before, but now he's super sparkly. Kind of looks like a goldfish cracker, but not really. Because I use a copper glitter. Because I didn't really have an orange. Okay. Now, this stuff I did the day before Christmas Eve. With my new molds from Young and Zem. And I did a bunch of stuff. I really like... Some of the stuff I did it turned out really well. I wore this one for Christmas and everyone really liked it. But she sent me the silicone molds for the bats and I was like, oh, I don't know how to do it or don't know how I want to do them. So I did the glitter on the back. And I'm not real fond of how they turned out, but they look okay. But I think I'm going to mix the glitter in next time and not pour them so thick. This one turned out really great. I really like it. And it's, I mean, it's thin, so I think I'm going to make a pendant out of it, just like this one. I love this one. Everyone's like, oh, penguin love. It's so cute. And this is with the, the Jolie, like, little cabochon stickers. I really like this one because I mixed in some black with the green before I put it in. And I sprinkled it on with a spoon just to make it look a little darker. Then I did a couple of other winter ones. I did this cute little polar bear with the same kind of glitter. I did like the iridescent snow type glitter. Then I had this like blue little glitter packet. And I have snowflakes in right here and then in the middle of this one. But they're really thin and they're not really showing up on camera. Then I had this little ice skating penguin. And I really like it. It's super cute. It's a little bit thicker than the other ones. I think I might make him a magnet. And I can make these, again, for anybody who wants them in a heart, or I can make them in the the two-inch cabochons. And I would put them up on Etsy if people wanted them. This one I think I'm going to make into a magnet. I just wanted to see how the... This one has, like, those Sarkovsky crystals on the the little three-dimensional sticker and they don't really show up at all they just look like a little glimmery spot instead of having the faceted look like they should 
but I like this one. I kind of wanted it to look like Fern Gully. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but they have like glow in the dark little mushrooms. I thought that was super cute, so I wanted to try that and just put black in the back so they'd stick out. This one, the mold's really thin on this one. I didn't sand him down yet, so he's got a little bit of overflow. But I think this one's super cute. This was a little cabochon too, a little 3D skull. But I really like how it turned out in the, in the abstract heart. And then this one is just the same stickers as this one up here. And then I did a cabochon that came with this skull of like a little gravestone and a little ghost wandering through. And I like the yellow. I like how that turned out. I think I'll probably make a pendant out of that one too. And then these, I used some of that cellophane that Yunk and Zem sent me with my package. And these little snow globes actually, the snow moves inside of them. And I think these turned out okay, but they kept floating up and over, so they're not really centered. But this one's a little cardinal. And then this one's a little snowman, and I just did the iridescent glitter in the back. He floated up more, because he's a little bit smaller than the cardinal one is. These are cute. I'll probably make them into magnets or something. Maybe I'll sell them on Etsy. I don't know. They're cute. And I like that the snow moves. And then this one, I talked about when I was doing my molds or my last sticker haul or whatever it was. But I tried to put these little, like, 3D bubble stickers. Like little cabochon type things. But they didn't really turn out looking like bubbles. But the duck's eye moves, so that's kind of cool. I might make this a magnet for my cousin. I'm not real fond of it, but I like it. Sort of. It didn't turn out like I wanted to. But. So that's that bad. And then I did some the other night. But these are sanded. But I did some more winter stuff, and then I tried something else with the, the duck. Okay. This one, I was really hoping it would turn out, but the sticker curled. And this was the only one I had of this one. So I think I might order another sheet of these, or if I can find them somewhere. I'll try and get another one, but I'm really hoping it would turn out, but it curled up, and I think I'll stick it on like a little piece of um, like cardboard, and then I'll mod podge the back, and then a little bit of the front so nothing gets in it. So maybe it'll stay flat next time. But I really like it. I just wish it would have not curled up. Then I did this one. These were Ooh. But I did a, a blue background. I wanted it to look like the sky. These were faceted too, like the, those little crystals. But they came out looking flat. They don't really look 3D unless you look at it kind of at an angle. But that one turned out cute. I might make that one a pendant. And then I did this cute little turkey. I think he's so cute. Because my aunt was asking me to make some like holiday magnets, so I got some turkeys and some Santa stickers. And I just wanted to try one of these. These are cabochons too. They're like the little 3D ones. He's a little felted, but he turned out really good. Then I did this one. This one had those gems on it too, like the mushrooms did. So, but I think it turned out really nice. I like it. I mixed black and silver glitter before I put it, it on there, and I think it looks super nice. I have gold ones like these too, but I don't know what I want to do for the background yet. Then I tried the duck again, but the glitter kind of floated a lot because I put it on just a little earlier than I probably should have. So I tried to make the bottom darker and the top lighter, but he still looks cute. Like he's floating on a lake, so that one's cute. And then this one. I'm going to keep for myself. I'm going to make a, a keychain. This is the St. Cloud Huskies logo. That's where I go to college. So I just wanted to try it out. I printed it out on photo paper and then I mod podged it. But he's got a lot of little air bubbles like in front of him. I don't know if anybody has any tips because I didn't want to like bend it so there was a crease, you know, like pushing it down all the way into the the mold. So he's got some little air bubbles in the front of him, like right here and here couple over here. 
but that's cute. I'm gonna mount it or drill a hole in it for a keychain on my backpack. And then I did some more winter ones. I didn't do a snowflake in the middle of this one. But I just did some hearts. And there's bubbles in front of them too. I pushed them down, but there's a bubble in front of like three three out of the four. And I put some iridescent, like I sprinkle it around a little bit before I put the blue down, so it kind of looks like it's snowy. This one I think I'm going to put up on Etsy. It'll probably be a little less expensive because of the air bubbles, but I'll put it up anyway. It's cute. And then I did, I did a heart of this one before. I just did it around and then I put a little snowflake in it. Then he's got a blue scarf instead of the green, but I think he looks cute. There's no air bubbles in this one, so I'm pretty happy with this one. This one might end up going on Etsy too, though. As a magnet or whatever, whoever wants it to be, I'll put it up without any a bale or anything on it, and they can choose what they want. And then I did a little polar bear. He's got a little candy cane, and I put a bigger snowflake in the background, but the again the faceted little crystal just shows up kind of like a blank mirror. But he turned out cute, sitting on some snow. But that is my long resin update that has been long waited for this stuff. But I think I'm getting better because the glitter's not in front of the stickers or anything. I think I'm getting it down. Pretty pumped to use some of the stuff that I just bought. I bought some Chippendale stickers. They have like little acorns and stuff and they're super cute. So I'm going to try and do some with that stuff. I start school again on the 9th, so I've got plenty of time to try stuff. So that's my update. Bye!